Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit Active 2 round edition and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the Zap application. And once the devices are paired together, we can open the Zap app um, and go to the device page. And here you should see your Amazfit Active 2. Now you can tap on notifications and reminders, then tap on notifications. And here you can turn on or off the notifications by tapping on the switch. One thing to uh, check by before we continue uh, is that the notification permission is enabled, or rather uh, you allow the app to send the notifications to your watch. And to do that, we can close the not uh, app for now, the Zap application, open the settings on our iPhone, and here we need to open the Bluetooth settings, and on in the Bluetooth settings you should see the list of my devices, on it you should see Active 2 Round. Tap on the info icon next to it, and here there should be this option, Share System Notifications. This option needs to be enabled for the notifications to work, so make sure it is enabled. Once it is, uh, you can go back, uh, you can also go to the notification settings on your iPhone. Uh, where would that be? Here. Uh, find the Zep application. So it's going to be at the bottom probably. Yep. And as you can see, the notifications are turned off. Turn them on here. And once they're turned on, we can close the settings. And now we can tap on Zep application again. Then tap on device, uh, tap on notifications and reminders, notifications, and here we can uh, customize the settings for our notifications. You can turn on or off the option to silence notifications during focus mode uh, on the phone. You can turn off or on the notifications for incoming SMS, email, and phone apps. And uh, if you enable the phone apps, you will see, can I close this? Oh, I can. You will see this. Basically, the list of applications uh, installed on your um, iPhone. Or rather, not installed. The list of applications you can allow the notifications for. And this list will fill in, I believe, if you receive the notification from the app. So, after you install this application and you receive the notifications uh, from some apps, I believe they will appear right here on the list. And once they do, you can enable and disable the notifications uh, for them. And how it works is basically, if you disable the notifications for Discord, you won't be seeing them on your watch, you will see them only on your iPhone. But if you enable them here, uh, the phone will basically forward the notifications also to your watch, so you'll be seeing them on the both devices. Okay, uh, let's see if I'm logged in into a Discord. I am not, so I'm gonna log in into Discord and we're gonna test it out. Let's see, should be working. Come on, Discord, log in. Let me check something. Okay, it logged in. We are in the Discord. And now I'm gonna send myself a uh, message on Discord. Hopefully it will pop up on the iPhone and the watch, which means it's working. So let's test it out. Okay, let's send the message. And we got the notification on our iPhone and I believe it also appeared on the watch. So if we wake up the screen on our watch, here we have it. If you miss the notification, 
you will see this uh, icon right here at the top of the screen and you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to open the notification panel and here we have our notifications and as you can see it is working and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Thank you for watching, if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.